When we start out from a developmental approach, it's totally different than the disease approach. In a developmental approach, we assume, we assume that there's order in the universe. We assume that, that if we understood the brain, if we understood it, it would make sense, not that there's something wrong with it. And from a developmental approach, you start off with an incredible faith in nature, that nature has its reasons, and, uh, and we are not to be arrogant enough to think that we know better than that. The ultimate task of emotion is actually maturation. We need, in other words, not the right experiences to grow up, not the right schooling to grow up, not the right curriculum to grow up, not the right learning to grow up, but the right feelings to grow up. Now, let that sink in, okay? And I said the ultimate task is to grow us up. But the most pressing problem is survival. We used to think that there were survival needs and then there were attachment needs. And then when we took a closer look at this, we realize the brain is only full of proximity needs, needs for togetherness, because when the baby is close, when the offspring is close to the parent, uh, to those attached to, it increases the chances of being taken care of, of being fed, of being clothed. And so the brain has only attachment needs. These are the equivalent of survival needs. Do you follow me? Our children are facing more separation than they've ever done before. And our limbic systems, their limbic systems are going absolutely trying to fix these problems. Our children are more highly alarmed. We have the, all the diagnosis of alarm are increasing. Our children are increasing in, in aggression and attack, suicide, all of the indications of frustration that are indirect. In other words, this is a picture of our children. And why does it happen? The brain is trying to fix a problem. We call all these things disorders. We call all these things, we you know, look at it from a disease point of view. No, no. This is, this is the brain trying to fix a problem. This is the brain doing its job, except that we treat these problems with what? Separation. Don't let anything divide. Behavior separation. Don't let anything divide because when it does, it pushes their buttons. It goes deep into the very core, stirring them up and moving them in ways that are just going to aggravate the problem. To treat problems with more separation has been the biggest mistake we have made in our society. We're not, we're not enlightened. We are in the dark ages as far as emotion is concerned. If we really understood emotion, we'd be able to read children. And many emotions have a body language. If we read them, it would tell us how they're being affected, how they're being stirred up. Many of our statements to children are, in effect, commands not to feel. Don't be frustrated. Don't be sad. Don't be upset. If we understood emotion, we would never say those things. Because it's saying to them, don't feel. And that's, that's an impossibility. It would change everything if we simply acknowledged that the brain has its reasons, that there is emotion underneath this behavior, and it must come out.